Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. I make solo travel vlogs exploring Europe and today we are in Bar Montenegro. To be specific, we are in Starry Bar, which translates to Old Town Bar of Montenegro. We have hiked from New Bar to the top of Old Bar to explore a fortress. Also have a dog following us all the way to the top. We've nicknamed him Guinness. Come along, you also will get to meet my new Australian friend. Hi, I'm Eleanor. Before we get started though, please make sure you subscribe to my channel it really helps to keep travel going help grow this channel and ultimately build a community let's get started thanks to airlo for sponsoring part of this video more on them later We've currently began our walk with Eleanor and our new friend we have now named Guinness. <laughs> we thought it was suiting. We're walking from, let's call it the train station of Bar Montenegro-ish area. Of New Bar, yeah. Of New Bar to Old Bar. According to Google Maps, 45 minutes. For us, half an hour. We're experienced, so. I'm also actually quite, you're quite a fast walker, I'm realizing, <laughs> so. We're going up the mountain. Yes, Starry Bar is where we're going. Something to note is on your way to Starry Bar, you're going up incline the whole way. It's not crazy, it's very doable. We've just got, well, <laughs> Eleanor's got <laughs> Crocs on. What are those? I've just got my sneakers on. So it's not impossible, but yeah, you're on an up incline. So if health is of concern, you can take a bus. I think it's one euro. I have no idea. And yeah. But it only goes once a day, I think. The buses are like limited here. It's, you know, it's doable. And it's an amazing view. Yeah, we lost Guinness. There was two travelers up ahead and he just kept going farther and farther and I couldn't really call him back. So, hey, we'll meet him at the top. He's probably gonna be up there. <laughs> That's a big ass dog. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Buildings and... Renaissance? Like Renaissance? Renaissance? Yeah. Renaissance. Renaissance in Australia. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Renaissance. Like they have such this a sounds like Renaissance. Well, I think it's Renaissance. I think that's how. <laughs> oh, here's another cute It's a split in the road here, and you want to take it right to go all the way up to the fortress. Let's go. Some water.
Eleanor off at the gates to the fortress because she's actually done this before. So we decided that I would enter. It was three euros to enter. Not sure if they took card, but I had cash, so I decided to use my coins. <laughs> Guinness is still with me. I'm not sure if he's allowed, but I don't really have any historical facts, so probably should have done some reading before we started. I know that this isn't a recent build, and it's kind of crazy that it's just in the middle of the mountainside. Hey friends, before we keep exploring, there's one thing you should know that I've learned when I've met new travel friends, and that is that most people won't travel the exact same way as you. Take Eleanor and I, for example. I'm someone who likes to have internet on my phone all the time, and Eleanor just did not while traveling. And that's why thanks to Airlo, the sponsor of today's video, I was able to have data on my phone whenever I wanted it for day trips. Airlo has been my favorite eSIM provider over the past year of travel and they make it super easy to access data. You just activate the digital SIM card that's in your phone. And I always activate them before I arrive to my next nation, like when I cross the border into Montenegro, because it instantly connects me to a local mobile network. And this makes it easy for navigating wherever you're going and making sure that your friends don't get lost because you have access to maps. If you want $3 off your Airlo eSIM, you can click the link in my video description. Okay, back to exploring Starry Bar. said it was gonna be about 14 degrees today. So I full on have a jacket, sweater, and scarf in my backpack. But as we were climbing up to the top of the hill, all layers have been removed and I'm warm and sweaty. Probably attempt to put some of my sunglasses back on and maybe a hat. Always have sunscreen on though. I think I've lost Guinness to some other tourists because one of them started to pet her. I'm not sure about this, but a lot of the dogs in Montenegro aren't indoor or like housebound dogs. Something I've just been mindful of, you know, they roam the streets, they eat whatever they want. I just am really mindful if I do pet the dog, I actually wash my hands right away after. And that's just personal preference. I haven't even pet Guinness yet, but I thought I should give you a better overview of what the actual old fortress of Bar is. We're gonna use trusty Google for this. <laughs> the old Antibaris Fortress is an outstanding and historic archaeological site of Montenegro and the town of Bar, which is situated on four hectares on the hilltop, just about four kilometers from the sea and on the top of the Rumija mountain. We all know I can't pronounce anything, so that's probably incorrect, but it's um, pretty fascinating to be on top of this mountainside and far beyond behind me, like here is where the sea is. So I am obsessed with bar already because of the fact that you can be in the mountains and the sea within minutes of each other. It is lush and fresh air, except for like the plastic pollution. It's been so lovely and fresh air here. I'm really enjoying myself. Wow, incredible.
don't do as I did and don't follow the arrows. I think I got distracted with Guinness and filming that there's definitely arrows kind of pointing you in one direction, but I think I'm going backwards. <laughs> so we might have to like completely loop back around and get out again. But I just want to see it all. But I do have to keep in mind that Eleanor is waiting for me on the other side. So I'm going to slowly try and make my way down because obviously they kind of all look the same towards the end. And that is not to give away its amazing historical factor and preservation of this space. But I just got to be mindful of my travel buddy and maybe find Guinness again. <laughs> just as I filmed that last clip, we've actually come back to the church where we started and behind me here is the archway where we also started so i'm gonna go back out that direction we'll soon find out if that's the exit or if i should have been exiting a completely different way it is low season which is so nice because there is nobody but that being said it means like there's no like tour guides you can kind of listen on to highly recommend fully worth the three euros Okay, there's like two sets of arrows so it doesn't really matter which where I which where which way I go moments where you just go where am I what am I doing with my life and how did I end up here and be so lucky and there's some chickens below <laughs> like what is this world oh my heart is so full right now German travelers and she pet him and I was like he's a goner he's gonna <gasps> but he came no he came because he came out and then he kind of like looked around and then he saw me and oh my god she... my heart it was um, really cute how was it it was really good I feel like I didn't do it all but also like I'm gonna sound it's pretty big it's big and it kind of looks all the same by then yeah that's that's how I kind of felt I'm glad I did it I always try and picture like to think that this was X number of years ago. Yeah, like this is where people lived and this was their cathedral and their home and their monastery and the religion aspect of it is always fascinating to me. So yeah, yeah I as I said in my intro, I'm joined by my new friend, Eleanor. <laughs> you can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Eleanor. Um, I don't know what else to say. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Australia and we met how many days ago? Like four days ago, maybe? So we're best and friends. We're best friends. <laughs> and Where in Australia are you from? I'm from Sydney, like near Bondi. Oh, I used to watch a lot of Bondi Beach, actually. I haven't told you. Like Bondi Rescue? Yeah, Bondi yeah, Rescue. I, I love watched, Bondi Rescue. I watched all the seasons. <laughs> anyway, we've met because we're doing a volunteer experience through the platform called World Packer. So if you're interested in learning more about that, I'll put a link in my description below. But basically what it allows you to do is to see awesome places like this at a way more affordable method. That's not a great word, but... Yeah, no, it's it's very economic, you know. Free food, free accommodation, usually. So. Not always free food, but you've been really good at getting you can free pick food. Ones that have free food. Yeah. yeah, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. So you basically work for the hostel, or you exchange some kind of skill, and you get free accommodations, and then off sometimes free food that can either look like they're cooking for you, or they provide a stipend, or here they kind of give us a pantry and 
we can obviously buy extra food to make it more what we want but the host has been really kind and generous and also trying to accommodate i'm cheat again as i think most of you know but you're hardcore vegan <laughs> quite nice and he's really nice so he's super nice super knowledgeable so I, i've already said but i'll link the hostel below because you should stay there it's also really clean which is so not cool. always the case i've stayed at some places not hostels because i don't have much experience but some of the farm stays i've done just yeah, just yeah. not it and again it's not about having a luxurious stay i never when i complain about hostels it's never about getting five star service because it's not about the service yeah. but just like a clean bed a clean bathroom and floors that don't have dust balls on them <laughs> yeah yeah i feel like you're, yeah you're in a hostel you're not there to be serviced but it's nice to have just a clean place to stay yes yeah. and to feel safe are you hungry yeah i I, I'm, I can always eat it's like i think maybe this the way? first waterfall it, go, it goes up um, I think it's like 15 minutes, the first waterfall. Oh, we can do that. I've got snacks always. Oh, yeah, <laughs> true. Just snack? in case, just in case. Um, and then the second one's maybe like 45 minutes. But like oh. the... Let's do the first one and then we'll see how okay. we go. All right, snack time. Not 12 degrees. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching this video. I just wanted to tell you about my WhatsApp travel community named Your Travel Friend. If you are dreaming, planning, or currently traveling, this community is one that is contributed by people from around the world who have experience or are locals to share tips, knowledge, resources, and problem solve those kind of funky little travel things that you need help with. So you can see that link in my description below if you have something to share from where you are or you want to ask questions for your trip then join on in.